Okay. Why'd you decide to join today? Are you guys horrible at solo and you need you're desperate for some help? That's it. 100%. You guys are desperate for help? Okay. What rank? I, I love watching the stream and I want to be good at solo, but I just I always feel like lost in the lane. Okay. What about you, Kijo? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm bad at it, man. You're bad at it? I said I wouldn't say I'm bad at okay, it. Okay, so you're good. You think you're good? Uh, I think I'm pretty decent. Actually. Okay, how decent do you think you are? Uh, give me, give me some more specific. Wait, do I do I have sound on your stream? Serious? Do what? Do I have sound on your stream? Wait, click something. Click your odd. I don't think I hear it. Are you screen sharing or are you like uh, streaming the game? Streaming smite. Really? Yeah. But I don't hear it. Man, I hear a key, Oh, is it mine? No, I hear yours. Yours is good. Leave it like that. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, where, where were we at? Who was talking? Was it Cyrus or Kijo? Uh... You, Kijo. Okay, so what makes you think that you're a good solo laner? Uh, it was just the first Conquest role I played. Okay. How long have you been playing Smite? Uh, since... Not too long. Since probably, like, Baron came out. Baron, okay. Yeah. And you've been a solo the whole time? Nah, not the whole time. Not the whole time. I like to play different roles just for fun. Okay. What rank are you? Uh, as of right now or last? No, no, right now. Right now, I'm down bad. I got like. Okay, two, fair. Two okay, I've been there. Okay, what's your highest? Highest like twenty six hundred. Twenty six hundred. What was that? Around there, yeah. Uh. Sometime this season or last season? This season or last season? Yeah. Okay. So, who do you think is going to win this laning phase here? Probably Kijo. You think he's better than you? I uh, probably just because that's tall. I'm a late game. I'm a late game carry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why, what makes I, it laning? Work? I always get farmed in laning. Okay. So, why do you think you're bad at lane? Uh, I think it's Coaching like the um, like the micro plays that's so important in solo. Like just getting so you're gold bad at trades. experience for yeah trades and like just getting every little bit experience and gold I can. Okay. So you think that what are both of your weakest points? Uh. If I'm playing like a lo like my team's losing, then I'm not just kind of I don't know. I kind of just don't know what to do sometimes. So if your team is losing, you don't have to yeah. do. Yeah, like like let's say. Okay, that's not really a weak point. That's a little bit. I'll of say, I, I, like this, extending my lead most of the time. Like okay, this, so you're pushing your lead. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, fair. So you're too dominant, and you don't know how to be more dominant. Mm, yeah, something like that. Right, okay. Adds up. Playing Osiris makes sense. Okay. So I see you're using you're using one, two, three, four. It's a it's a little bit of a shame. Nah. <laughs> the, Q, that? the shift QER goes hard. You think so? Yeah. It goes hard. I've never tried it. This is my, my first PC stuff. game as well. Yeah, what's your service? Q E R and oh. Alt F. Alt F. Yeah, because I I was having a hard time using Relic, so I changed Relic to Shift and Spacebar. Oh okay. That's more like for, like beads and stuff, carry rolls. Yeah. yeah. So how'd you learn this this uh, four passive? Why not five? What makes you choose four? You do. I'm just too lazy to sit in base any longer. You don't think four is the proper number? Uh. Mm. What do you think is the right number? Probably six, and then go to land. Really, six? That's a lot. Just so you can start. That's a like, lot. Yeah, uh, ease. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, you get the lane to faster. You press two on them. Literally, Osirising on them. Uh, I'm Osirising on them. Oh, we be missing those. I mean, this is many Osiris. You're gonna miss. 
What is four and six? Well, huh? You use twelve ER. Oh, okay. You didn't hold the wave. Respect. Nah, I'm just doing this for fun. Okay, so this is kind of classic. Arthur just kind of loses early, and then he needs to get his item online before he can start winning trades against you. Meanwhile, you're a totem champion. Impressive. I'm sure the boys are loving that. Have to. You hate to see it, really. Don't worry, once you get solved or something, you are. You tell me what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is so low quality. Oh. Dude, I don't- it's hard, man. He gets a spin at level 3, he's spinning around like crazy. So what made you level the spin there, Sirius? Um... I thought you got I your 3 I like level the movement. Too. I guess, yeah, I probably should've got my 2, but... Wait, yeah, do you have you? You can, uh, it's okay against the Cyrus because he's, he's a bunch of slows. But you can also just put two points into your one, and then your two. You just have better wave clear. Because level yeah, level one Arthur is pretty useless. <laughs> Getting aggressive over here. Absolutely starving for a blue buff invade. I need it. Looking to push your lead here. So how often, if you have pressure like this, do you just want to invade the blue buff? Mm, if my jungler will be there, most likely. I try to, at least. Go if on. it's ranked, I'll just throw and I'll go to it. I don't care. I respect that. I need it or I die. Filthy I'm sorry. Got a, be got a backstopping barrier. Had to be done. So filthy. If I had ult, I'd ult it in. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, normally, normally first blue buff invades are kind of ins, but I mean it's kind of hard not to do it to be honest. Oh, oh my god, not a good. not a totem oh, tyrant. Fuck. Hey, listen, it's okay. No one, no one saw it. My stream crashed for a second. No one saw it. That's big. That Dude, is some, fucking listen, big. Man, sometimes you just miss the totem, bro. Not that you did miss, because I saw them for sure. Yeah. Is is the uh, me streaming the lag? No, true. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you know I have a health pot ticking? Be right back. So, is this all yet? Oh, it's not too. Totem time, I'm really back at it. Didn't, I didn't I want to back there, but I feel so like I bad. have a choice. I'm never gonna run him in a. Yeah, honestly, I haven't played a new Astol, but it doesn't look that bad, though. Say what? I still lost like 5 power, but I haven't played with it yet. Oh really? Oh, I forgot they just nerfed it, didn't they? Yeah, you're buying 2 nerfed items right now. Oh no. But it still works out. Yeah, someone in the chat said they, they saw the totem dodge it. I saw it move too, not gonna lie. Really? Yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only one that saw that. Nice totem blink. Serious and down and bad here, no sov, no blue buff, absolutely um, no totems. You know, sometimes it's just be like that. But you're Arthur, you're, you're playing just for no the sov spike. What, what can I do? True. Jungle gap. It's like, this is where I always, like, get lost. Like, what, is there any more I could be doing at this point? It's just kind of just got to take the L and move on. Well, here, it's fine to lose your first blue buff, but for your second blue buff, instead of staying oom and low like this, you just want to be backing before your blue buff spawns and be strong for it. And you need your jungle mm -hmm. to be there. Because, like, right now, you can just, like, walk in and take your blue because you're oom, and also your jungler's in there. So you just have to hard call your jungler to show up for your second blue buff and make sure you're strong for it as well. So, like, recovering your blue is pretty important, so if you're just getting fucked, you just want to, like, lose a wave or half a wave to just come out and be strong for it. Should I be doing blue buff here or pushing wave? Wave is always more important than blue. Think so? Yep. I hadn't seen the you jungler in the map, so I kind of want to see my buffs. You should be backing. I like to have 3k gold. Oh, okay. No, that's fair. 
I have a Fafnir passive, if you didn't know. Yeah, your blue is always going to be there. I mean, obviously you can farm it more efficiently, but the wave is not always going to be there. And losing a, like two or three minions is a pretty big deal. Oh, I'm feeling heroic. <laughs> Looking heroic. Oh, man. Can you serious have the sob online yet? Oh, I've been owned. Oh, yeah. And he's uh, you've just been thrown up on. Yeah, it's a pretty lame matchup. Yeah, normally you want to hold your Arthur until the end of his three, so you don't get stunned. And it's also just kind of tragic because you're gonna get puked on. Yeah, minion dodged that. Yeah, that I saw a move too. Yeah. Had to. Oh yeah, the, the FPS is the FPS is horrible. I wonder if he's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm watching from Serious PV. Okay, we got Sov online here. You can start kind of taking trades. You got an interesting UI. I was having problems with like seeing my map, so I had to like make it. Oh, I've been ganked. Bigger. I meant like the enemy. I never seen. I've never seen the enemy over there. Wait. Oh. Uh, Why I'm is your map awesome. bigger than mine? What the fuck? I made it bigger. Yeah. Wait, but. Huh? But the the towers and stuff are really small, and the buffs. What? I don't know. Dude, your map is crazy. Yeah, what should I build here after Berserkers? I don't know. To be uh, honest. I mean, you can go whatever you want here, to be honest. You can go Sov, you can go into Magidi, you can go into like a Runeforge, the Frostbound, whatever you want. Okay. What I can hear, it's super quiet. Smaller icon size that exists. Okay. So. You just no. want to go into a glad shield now. He took my blue. <laughs> this quality is cooked. Oh my word. So, basically, you're a little bit down bad here. You just gotta. It's all right, it's all right. You we'll, just gotta. We'll see, we'll see the team fight. You gotta chill. You gotta farm. Get your glad shit online, and then maybe look for a little rotation and try to get your lead back. Are these little side harpies worth getting instead of like poking them? Or like, well, Not over wave. You wanna do okay. them when nothing else is up, basically. Are you saving a point for your one in your all? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. No, no, serious. So now you just want to, I guess you're just kind of left an island for your blue. Unless the jungler's coming, I mean, who knows, right? Like, geez, he, he might not be dead right now. Usually your best secure in a blue buff is uh, saving your blue one. Oh my god. Did I get both? Oh, Tragic shit. Yeah, you just you just want to leave and hit the wave, Cyrus. Yeah, when you you can out secure the Osiris pretty easy here if you hold your jab and your blue one, because he basically has to ult it. Otherwise, you're just always gonna get your blue. Roger. Yeah, you, you pretty much never want to trade with him. He just has a lead over you. You just want to farm and look for rotations towards mid, or just look for something where you can get a pick. Count the pixels? Unlucky, bro. Domo. Have you gotten a blue up this game yet? Uh, yeah, the very first one. <laughs> oh! Okay, you, you might want to ping your blue and then tell your jungler to be there. But I guess they were fighting last time. 
Oh, we're making money moves. Yeah, I mean, either way, you're kind of going in Mount Arthur until you get Genji's, to be honest, though. Oh, I was waiting for a little multi juicer. Okay. Two multi juicers. I'm fucking Sheesh. down bad right now. Uh, you're up good now. You're look you're looking for a little fight. Okay, so you wanna walk into your blue now? Uh, you probably just gotta get the wave now. Unless you get it. I mean, the whole squad's there. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's a Fed and Merlin, and you have no magic to do yet. My game just almost crashed. Hold on. Oh, the turn. Uh, Literally spinning. Unfortunate. You can't spin hard enough, though. Tragic. So, well, so far behind. Once you get Genji's, you're fine ish. Oh, I'm lagging. We have PS or server? Uh, I'm not sure. I think, I think it might be you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now it's mega quiet because the uh, it's just someone stream. Okay, your team's a little bit down bad too, though. This is kind of just a blue buff diff, to be honest. So I feel like this happens to me like all the time. I don't know if it's just because the matchups I pick, but. Arthur's a fine matchup once you hit like five and you get Sav online, but if you uh, if you just keep getting your blue invaded and get put behind like that, then you'll never get back in. I mean, Osiris wins most matchups like that pretty early. Yeah, Gabe's going to Kalko mode right now. It's Ganesha's renewal. Hey! Mary, shut the fuck up, pussy. Shut up. Shut up. Holy. Oh, and it's GG. It's literally GG. Yeah, so you should probably just be yonking these back amps here, by the way. You haven't yoinked any of your junglers' back camps? No, serious. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, in, I'm not getting any help, so yeah, I'm well, sure, right? Well, even in general, even if you're ahead or behind, just take your junglers' backs. Like, if <laughs> if if they're up and your jungler isn't going to your to the back camps, take them. And it's like, and it's not over a wave, then take them. It's just efficient. How do I say, how do I say how to uh, play support for teleport in game? It's three W's after a V. V and then spam W. Wait. Wait, is it three V's and a W? I think it's three V's and a W. Oh, you're about to get stunned. Oh. No one ever kills each other here. It's really impossible. Oh, I'm chasing you. I want the top damage stat. No, just yoink the backs. Yeah, I mean, your, your wave is always your most important and, uh, and then everything else. I have a question for Kukulin. I don't feel like he... Like... I hear people saying that he's pretty good right now. I see him getting picked, but I don't see it. Like, I, he's done never work for me. You know what I mean? 
Mm, maybe it's not a Kukulin guy, bro. Oh? The thing is, I used to be a big Kukulin guy. I mean, he's definitely weaker than before, 100%. Maybe. Maybe I can only pay him when he was broken. Probably. That's just how it be. Oh, I've been silenced. I mean, feared. Yeah, I mean, there, you you can go for your blue first service because you're not going to miss any of your creeps, probably. Oh, uh, just like through the wall? Yeah, yeah. As long as you're not missing creeps for your blue, it's fine. Same thing with going for backs. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not going to miss any of your creeps, then it's fine. But you don't want to miss a wave or, like, three minions for your back camps. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Just kidding, I'm at... Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, the setup? Going to the bonkers, going bananas right now? And... Try to... Okay. No offense to the boys, but it's a little team diff here. Oh, a little team diff! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there... Uh, you just have to play a little bit closer to your team. Even though you're getting in there. Should I go to a Toxic Blade here? No. What you, what, hold on. No. Wait. Definitely not a Toxic Blade. Let me beat the build. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shogun, Sov. I mean, you're kind of lacking some magic. You probably just go Spirit Rib here, though. You said what? Spirit Rib. Spirit Rib? Okay. No. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, they're they're Is streaming it, so the frames are bad. I should have just walk up. No, you just walk out. It, as, if you're not okay. TPing to something, then it's not worth it, because you're just TPing for farm. Okay. You want to save your TP for a play. Okay. Because usually, I just I just use it. I like to get yeah, this as fast. A lot of people love doing that. Be it, heroic TP is like very good for making rotation plays. And there's kind of no reason like you're, you're not really going to miss anything. I kind of missed out on a lot of farm. Yeah, no, it's it's based off of them. They're streaming it. It probably would have been a lot better if I could spectate it, but it crashed. And it's not the spectate delay, and I just didn't feel like resetting Biggest it. Biggest archer wave of all time. This shit is bugging. Oh shit. Okay. So you're probably looking for like an Oni Fury play here after you clear the wave, Cirrus. You want to start getting wards around it and looking for picks, or they're playing for it first, and then maybe when your TP's down. But I just want to try to rotate over and just look for fights for now. Thanatos is level 20. Okay, they might not end up fighting it, but... Oh. Okay, now that's where you spam attack and then you look for something. <laughs> yeah, and you got Baka moded. Guy's kind of just two levels up on you. Who plays Baka anyway? Who is this? <laughs> Who plays Baka, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Kuro Crack plays Baka. Not only Baka, crit Baka. Dude, so shameless. no, if you play Baka, you actually crit's OP, bro, no cap. You think so? Yeah, crit's the play. Gabe Ethan is going absolutely humongous here. I mean, Gabe is just, he's hes just too good, bro. Gabe is the GOAT. Yeah. You ever met a dude named Gabe and Ethan? Nope. I didn't think. Wait, no, I have actually. Oh, really? Yeah, he's actually in there, he's playing Merlin. Oh wow. Yeah, believe it or not. I'm jealous. Okay, that's a little bit of a rough fight. You guys were even and they kinda got gold and like wiped everyone. But it's still winnable. You just gotta cope up. Just uh spam wards around left. 
And then look for little picks, get your get your jab online, look for a little little jab play. Make sure you got your team behind you. The fucking around. Huh? I said his mass start, like an actual start again, or whatever you do, you just fucking around. Who knows, bro? It's undiscovered. Oh no. It's going through it's going through the testing period. I thought stream title said new meta found. I mean, it might have been found. Who knows? Maybe it's a bait for everybody else watching, you know? You never know. Who tune knows, in bro? next YouTube video. See what happens. Yeah, yeah tune in next YouTube video and then, <laughs> and then like it to you. Okay, so normally, you, if you have wards here, you want to put it like around the totem, so they can't get a flank, but you don't need to put down wards right now. Oh, Danith has his own... He's going my, fucking crazy. Oh, he's been spurted. Try to look for their backline here, Sirius. But don't go too hard. Okay, he's jumping in for you. He's literally inting for you. He's literally inting. Okay, it was a little bit too much cope. Unfortunate. I think we can just attack middle lane here. Yeah, it's kind of game. I figured. I'm Bakasura wants to farm the bat camps. Bat camps are up. Huge XP diff. True. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have a play. I have a play. Holy shit, I'm heroic. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, I'm heroic. Okay, I actually don't think you guys end here, do you? I can't even see, bro. I, can, I can't see. Oh, is my stream bad? <laughs> yeah, it's just Discord, bro. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, you can't. It's all good. It's all on you. It's just, Discord juicers in the chat? Bro, it's just it's just Discord it's like 60 dip. Frames per second. It's Discord dip. <laughs> Hold on, I'm resetting the stream, see if it'll fix that. It's like here, should I be looking to group with my team or like I'm still down bad in XP? Uh like, I wanna farm. Well, but... yeah, here you just they're going to be regrouping, they're going to look to Siege right, if they know what they're doing, if they're smart gamers. So you want to be looking to yoink all the farm while you can. So you just want to be splitting up left here, and making sure you're not getting picked while you're doing it. But the only person that should be coming over here is the jungler, and even then they shouldn't be doing it. They should be looking right, but they can always come for it. But yeah, you should just be splitting the map when they're looking to Siege like this. Well, get, wait, have they even gotten fire? Yeah, they uh, just yeah, got we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, they should be looking to group and ride pretty soon. So you just want to split while you, uh, while they're looking to group and do that. Did you not see what I did earlier? My big play? Did you heroic TP? Yeah. Did, did you back and TP to Phoenix? No, no, no. I just placed the ward in front of me, and then I TP'd into the Phoenix. Holy. To get to be heroic. I didn't get to see it. That's I definitely some tech, bro. I feel really bad for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty bad for myself too, honestly. Yeah, so you still got a little bit of time. You should just not play for T2. Your team should be playing for the Phoenix, because there's no way you guys are defending that. So you just want to keep slurping while you can. And the way it's probably too far, you just want to back now, yeah? Yo, thanks, Dumbo. Pitch the 100 biddies, bro. So, just don't go too hard because you're really behind. But you just want to look to make some soft room. And your whole team's dead. Never mind. My on her is the goat. Holy shit. This guy's just. Someone get this guy on a team. He's just trying too hard, man. This is. A, this might just be a Gabe Ethan diff. It actually probably is a Gabe diff. Oh, I'm Can beating his ass. Matchmaking here, please. Some matchmaking? Yeah. This is why ranked is dude, bad. Dude, it's it's scuff, man, because I can't I can't run it. I got game I mean, running it. I've lost I six hundred MMR in the past three days. 
Give me in there, I'll humble Gabe. <laughs> okay. Who said that? Who's humbling Gabe? I don't know, Liam. First time chatting. No, Liam. Holy <laughs> shit. No, Liam knows. Oh, shit. Okay. So, overall, um, seriously, you gotta. You probably wanna be whipping your jungle a little bit harder and tell them to come up to your blue, otherwise, you're just gonna get fucked on. Um. <laughs> So you're you're just gonna lose that early, but you just want to be playing for your soft spike, and then second blue buff, you want to be hard calling for your jungler to show up there, and you need to back early and be strong for it, have full health, full mana, and be ready for the blue. If you lose a little bit of wave farm for that, that's kind of what you have to do. And generally, when you're looking to secure your blue and they're invading it, you want to be holding your jab so you can stun them, and then blue want it because you're just gonna have better secure, and they're gonna have to like CC me and ult it to get it. Um. Yeah, what do you, you have any questions for us? No, no. Thank you so much for uh, letting me do this. This is really cool. Yeah, well, I hope it was, it was yeah, good for you. Fun. What about what about you, Kijo? You have any questions? You kind of just you kind of just won. Uh, gay beat and diff. Just fucking be just better. Just better. Okay, this is. I think it just honestly no copium just comes down to jungle gap. Honestly, it's always the issue. Um, couldn't have been anyone else's fault. Hey. I'll take that. Yeah, just straight up jungle gap. Anytime you lose blue, it's jungle gap. Yep, true. To be honest. Okay. Okay, Reaper dude. How are you, man? All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. What's your uh, What's your highest rank? Right. Uh, as of right now, I'm plat five. So I'm just I'm climbing up. I've been winning a lot in solo. Just kind of doing my thing. Okay, so you're currently you're currently plat five. At this moment, was that is, it, is that your peak? What's your peak? Yeah, I started about a year and a half ago, actually. Smite. Okay, okay impressive. I and... started mid laning and doing ADC, and then I switched to uh, jungle for a bit. And then I started just enjoying solo lane just because I am not and doing do shots. Thing. I'm not doing shots. Thank you, Call. Appreciate the fucking thousand bits. I'm not doing shots. Okay, how long have you been soloing for? Uh, so far I've been soloing for about six months. Okay, six months. And you're now a plat five? Yeah, just doing solo lane pretty much. Plat five solo lane. Yep. Okay. Interesting. And is Tyr your best god? Uh, no. Really? No. What's uh, making you lock in Tyr? Uh, just team comp. I just. I've been enjoying tears of late, though, and I say I'd say my best gods are either Bologna or Vimana. Okay, okay. I don't know why, but I just kind of like baby boy. Well, this this Gabe guy over here, he needs to get fucked on, and Bologna would have done that, but Tear can also no. do that if his beads are down. No, not this game. No, this yeah. game. Unfortunately, I didn't know what he was going to pick beforehand, and I thought about Bologna, but then I feel like I get shot on sometimes with certain god picks against Bologna. So. True. Should you be winning some matchups? Okay. Um, like Cyrus, I just can't. I I don't know what, but like I just kind of fumble around and just screw up. Yeah, Osiris is a. It's typically like a skill matchup when it comes to Osiris. Yeah. He's not like a sort of like win. He doesn't play himself basically. I essentially picked tier because C like CC is decreased hard on him, and I'm looking at Thoth, Loki, Ymir, and there's also Achilles and Neath now, so. I just don't want to be kind of constantly just stuck in a fucking CC chain. Okay, good respect. Um, so what do you think your weakest point is as a player? Uh, sometimes I don't take advantage of me winning my lane hard okay. by myself, yeah. and I sometimes just won't push on that. Like I'll go and rotate, but like I won't push further into lane, like and just force the enemy team to come towards me. To aid and embed my team to like just be able to do their own thing. Yo. And sometimes I just play for late game too much. Okay. I play for the big team fights to try to just stick there with my team. So, I mean, it kind of comes down to like every individual's play style, like not every cylinder. There's not like, wait, I can spectate now? Can you? I'm in. Okay, yeah, nice. I, guess I guess you don't need to stream. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Give me a second, give me a second. What time is it? I might be behind it by a little bit. 
It's uh, 37, 36, 35. 36. Fuck, 34. dude. I'm behind yeah. them. By like 20 seconds. Okay, do we care about 20 seconds? It's up to you guys. Uh, it's up to you guys. Or do you want me to watch this with me? I mean, whatever's better for the stream. I think, I think 20 seconds is pretty rough. Yeah. Okay, we're going back to Discord. Okay. So, every, it, wait, wait, hold up. Yo, thanks, Crazy. Appreciate the five month bro. Welcome back. Yo. Um, so, everyone, it comes down to like individual play styles. Like, say, if you look at like a player like Sot, uh, he's doing exactly what you're talking about doing, where you just want to like literally slam your dent down the lane sometimes, and he just wants to bring like everyone over. Um, it's not like the best play style. It kind of depends, you know, it's whatever, but, um, I can't tell you the best way to play the game, you know what I mean, like, there, it kind of just comes down to how yeah. you play as a player. And how the game progresses and how things are going. Yeah, there's like, like there's no the best play style, it just comes down to how you play as a player. But, um, what you're talking about, typically when you have a lead, it is just better to rotate out and just use your lead to get your team ahead and to fuck other people up. Then like keep it in your lane, because then you're just kind of not using your lead. <laughs> okay. So you went TP instead of blink. Why's that? Uh, honestly, I don't feel like I need blink as often with uh tier. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So typically, Tyr is a pretty good god at like staying alive. Yeah. Um, he's really good at living in lane. He's really hard to gank, and he's a, just kind of doesn't die. But um, if you want to be aggressive and look for like rotation towards mid, like you're talking about, where you have a lead, uh, blink can help a lot because you can just blink on their mid laner or someone and just like look for a blink for this. Because it's very it's very bad as a tier to just like go in and ult in because you're just gonna die. Yeah. Um, so usually blink is like, it's kind of essential to tier. TP can be good if you want to like get through your lane, but blink is pretty much essential for you to be a character. I do sometimes on tier just upgrade the blink very early on. Like I'll get my f uh, blackthorns first and then just kind of uh, upgrade my blink and then just kind of rotate around and just be like a second jungler with it. Hand. Yeah, I mean you don't want to you don't want to end up being like a second drilling there, but yeah, yeah, upgrading upgrading your blink early is definitely good when you're a god that like is basically crutched on it, like two yeah. is. And hey, don't put a point in your three. It ain't good, bro. No. Nope. I generally max my two, then max my three. So yeah, usually maxing you you want to max your two unless you're Jake. Uh, Jake will preach about maxing his fearless for the rest of his life. Um, but. You want to max your two, and at level four like you are right now, you can either hold a point for your level five, um, where you put a you put everything into your two and then you ult, um, or you can just put another point into your fearless, and then you have two points in each ability. But yeah, you basically you never want to level your three until you have to. Okay. Because you're just getting more damage, more healing out of your other abilities than like the power of the prots. You know, it's a uh, it's just not a very useful stat. Oh, Zyrus, what's the likelihood that your jungler is going to say? Never mind, I see him. What? There's no jungler here. Oh, I just saw him go. And he's still here. We got a totem tyrant on the loose. Okay. So what's the what's the thought process behind this build, Cyrus? Um, I don't know why I just don't really like going bluestone on Kaylee's. I really like the later game upgrades on uh sundering axe okay and then i just i don't know soft just feels really good but i'm also like typically a guardian or adc player so i'm just like used to building sod i love it yeah i mean sov is um you know kind of like the least nerfed item for solo to be honest um it's it's definitely fine on achilles um but yeah if you don't want early pressure then you you can just go axe for sure um, but Bluestone does help you a lot early, so it's just whatever you go for. What's the deal with the the, the blink first here? You looking to get you looking to get saucy? You looking to get aggressive? 
Uh, yeah, no, I love I love Blink, especially with like just into their team. I just feel like I can blink Goal. into a lot of that during the fight. Hopefully, okay. rotate a little earlier than last game. So I'm saying that you're maxing your one. Why is that? Uh, I'm not as good as like getting aggro with the three. It's just like safer, I think. I don't know. Well, it's probably not as efficient, but in jungle, maxing your one's better. But in solo, you're you have like I mean you're doing this right where you've you've used it twice already, and it, that's just more damage than your one. But it's also definitely viable to max your one. It's just more damage if you max your three, and it's typically better. Sorry to do that to you, but you kind of set yourself up for that. Little Tower Terrence play. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> and it's the boys. Oh my god, he's out of there. Oh. Ah, fuck. I want a body block from him. Okay, nice. Stick on Luthina. Okay, surely... Wait, is... oh, the Thoth missed the whole... Okay. Yeah, he... Oh, it's Gabe! It's Gabe, dude! Gabe let you down! He let the Athena go. Come on, Gabe. Jesus, Gabe. Okay, no one, they dodged. Gabe can't miss. Gabe confirmed the blue with the ult. Really? Yeah. Oh, look, Gabe oh shit, okay, Gabe is the goat then. Okay. So who's winning the mid lane matchup right now? Is it is it Kree mid laner or is it Gabe? Uh, uh Gabe. Or no, Ooh, oh, uh... Kree, mid, Kree mid lane's up in gold. Gabe secured blue, okay, Gabe secured blue. He's literally goat. I'm sorry, Gabe. I'm sorry. I couldn't see. Okay, you're going for a little glad shield second here or what? Maybe. I don't know. I want kind of want to see if uh, Gabe continues coming to my lane. I might go just uh, wing blade or something. Hmm. Okay, that's definitely defense early. Yeah, you definitely you definitely don't want to you definitely don't want to go wing blade second. Even no. though yeah, even though like people are coming over, you just want to be looking for glad shot breastplate more. second here. Yeah, I kind of just want to look for more pressure against uh, the soul lane jungle. Well, you just want fizz to online as early as possible. Yeah. Because I mean they have a they have a fizz jungler yeah they have a fizz jungler and a fizz solo so you're just getting a lot of value out of that early, and they give Whoa! you a CDR, which too is just going to like a CDR crutch god. You think it's a bombulus bombulus? Who should they get the sub dude? Thank you man. Yeah, now when you're in this situation, you can go down to like your small backs here and yoink those. Yeah. Because you're not really going to do anything on this Achilles. And, or you could look for a little saucy blue invade, but it is definitely risky and probably not yeah, your best macro play. Happened. Yeah, it's not your best macro play. Typically, invading is just like... It's kind of wasting your time, to be honest, because you wouldn't be getting that wave. You, you wouldn't be getting these backs. It's a little bit of a safety ult. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because uh, the Achilles isn't looking aggressive, uh, so it's probably just a wasted ult. I didn't know where the Loki was, and I didn't want to risk him also ulting me. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a fine play to do. You probably just want to clear this wave, go for Totem, get the little Sharpie into yep. the blue, maximize the macro juicer here. Getting saucy. Don't want the totem tyrant to get the totem here. Are you a totem tyrant or are you wave Wilson? It's like wave's always better, right? Yeah, for sure. Otherwise, you lose wave pressure here. Um, but you are pretty um, so. So have you ever tried to A cancel on, on Achilles? Um, not really. So those are like the small like things I don't really... Like I always hit my two like quick after. I don't know if that's the cancel or what it is. Yeah, you want a two before everything. So like before you press literally anything, you want to always two before it. You don't want a two after. 
So usually you like dash, right? And then you hold your spear and you just press two. You just like, you can dash in, you can auto, but you pretty much always want it to before you use any of your abilities. You probably don't want to back here. Oh but no, I, you, I still you, don't have enough gold. You, you don't, oh no, you're not, you're serious. He's backing on the full wave under tower. Yeah, now you can back. That's also another thing is like timing your backs, is you want to make sure that you're getting a good time on your back, because otherwise you would have just missed a full wave there. Yeah. I usually just back if like I either uh, have enough gold for an item or if I'm just too weak to continue. Yeah, I'm always like terrible at timings like that. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's always like kind of tricky. It depends a lot in each game. But here, yeah, you probably are just looking for blue buff, get your item spike online, and look to get aggressive with it. As nice as it is to like, oh, no worries. mine. You can uh you can hold on to like, you know, like say you're full HP full mana right now. You're like I'm chilling. I can keep farming, but it is also very good to back and get that item spike so that you can win trades a lot harder and you are a lot stronger when you're looking for fights. Bro, hold on. Reaper, Reaper. Yeah. Reaper, what's going I on? Know. Here? Reaper. Reaper, what am I? What am, I look down there. What am I seeing? Reaper, what is that? Have it. Have it. Okay, so. You want to max your two and then your one. Yeah. That's, that's, listen, that's Giga Chad. All right, I respect it. You have a lot of power in there, all right? But you're missing out on a lot of damage. Your fearless is probably, yeah, your fearless is hitting for, for baby damage. So you want to max your two and then your one on two. And you never put a point into your three until, like, you literally can't. Or you have to. Which is usually, like, around, like, I think 12 or something. Uh yes. Yeah, it's around there. Is, yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're a tier with your without your fearless max, you're not really a threat. Like it makes it so carries don't have to worry about beating your fearless. Because you're like tier is basically a god where if you're not doing damage to your fearless, then you're not a character. So you guys are both kind of chilling in lane right now, but what you could be looking for now is you clear the wave and you could just be looking for rotations towards mid as long as you're not losing too much farm for it. And you could just be looking to get active on the map and make some plays. Because otherwise you guys are kind of just like forever sitting here not having really kill much kill potential on each other. Wait, you have QEF1? Is your ult on 1? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> That's spicy. Okay. Why is that? Why is the one there? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of like it. It's all really compact. Okay. I mean, it just comes down to feel. Yep. Shit. Okay, looking to get saucy. We burn those beads, we burn those beads. Looking for the ult here, nice. It's about as good as it gets. You just want to get out of here probably, unless... Unless... Ah! I miss. No, nah, Gabe's too good. I was hoping good. to hit the... Uh, Gabe's too good. Hoping to hit Sirius. Yeah, so usually there, it, after you ult on him and he gets out, you're just kind of looking to get out. Yeah. He, and you, you've already gotten his beads. So a lot of the time, like, even after you burned his beads there, I mean, the ult was fine there, it was like the best play, right? Yeah. But a lot I, of the times, you can just burn people's relics and just leave, and then come back for them later. Mm -hmm. You know, their beads so are now, like, in you terms of the next item, third item, I'm going to be looking at magic, either, like, something like uh, Genji's or Oni. or Yeah, you, like, you want Blade. Genji's, you want Genji's for sure, yeah. Yeah. And you got to get your blink here. Got to be getting the blink juice online. And now you know that Gabe's beads are down, so you can look for... Uh, yeah, you can look for a gank on him. Yep, you can look to clear whenever it's good for you. Look for the little, little Gabe juicer, and then your Merc can also ult him. You guys have a pretty heavy birds comp as well.
Totem Tyrant back at it. Yeah, with, also when the juice spawns, it's also very important to get in solo. Juice oh, is the Ymir. mega valuable. I'm just gonna leave. It's fair. Getting a little saucy, okay. Okay. You probably you probably should have looked to get really aggressive there, Sirius, because he's playing like super aggro. He has no ult, so he has no way to avoid your execute there. So if you get him in kill range there, you can just easy execute him. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, but then I started second guess myself because I didn't know where the jungler was. Yeah, I mean, it's fine there because he's like 1 HP and he has no ult. And I think you just switch into the defense stance and you have double fizz D. So, like, in Achilles with Sav, Axe, Glad Shield, like, you are never dying to their jungler here. You're way too tanky. I. Sirius, you're maxing your ult! Uh, no I'm not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Sirius, okay. What? What? Okay. So, your ult is an execute. So the damage right, right. doesn't matter. Don't. Yeah, if, yeah if, you're right. if you're like, unless you're literally like raw dogging them for the damage, then it's not worth it. Your 2 is also like the most OP stim ability in the game. It gives you like, it's like literally the strongest stim in the game. Okay, and you got you got a whole ass house on your back as well. You you just bought a fucking house, okay? You could even look to uh, actually never mind. I, I would stay in damage dance here because you you're really tanky. Yeah. Well, both of you actually. Um. Yeah, you, you definitely want to be maxing your two before you roll. Roger. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. So so far, this is the stage. It's pretty late into the game, like, you guys probably should, should have been looking for more rotations earlier at this point. But here, you guys should definitely be looking to clear and just get the fuck out and make an impact on the on the game here. Just start looking for Gold Fury plays, Pyro plays, mid plays, everything you can you can look for here. So how long have you guys been maxing your Achilles ults and, and your tier 3s, man? How long have you guys uh, been doing that for? I don't... Hmm? It's just like habit, honestly. Oh, because you're like, you like, like, like max your ult. ult. That's last thing I usually touch. Okay, okay. But you're but you're a tier three maxer. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know why. I just I do it. Okay. I know I shouldn't, but I just do it. And so, this is I've been winning a lot with tier with this like this is what got me in plat actually. Okay. Well, you're so, gonna you're gonna win more if you start leveling your fearless. Uh, yeah. But I respect it. Nice if you could hit that once in a while. Well, even here, there's not even a point for you to go for that Fearless because you have no kill potential on him. <laughs> He's like level 15 with solid glad shield on like you're never gonna kill him. So you're better off just clearing and getting the fuck out of here. You're just looking you probably wanna back here and then just walk out of base and go right. Because you have no farm in the map over here. Just get your get your item juices online and just look for a play. That's too bad, man. Obelisk is almost done, so you could look for uh Juicing their obelisk. But you probably just want to get a, get a, get aggressive here, say attack the gold fury, group up, VGS the boys, get them over there. Look for some plays. Yep. And fuck the bird. So, usually in these fights, you never want to be looking for the tanks. You're like, they, these guys don't matter. Like, you just ignore oh. them and you just go on the back line. Like, literally just always ignore the tanks. Unless they're free kills for you. Like, here, you probably shouldn't be walking this way. But it's fine. Nice. Ah. Yeah, definitely don't want to fill this in because you're just gonna die. No. You have no. Yeah, normally, says so as, as a solo, you want to be you want to be frontlining because you took like a flank way around. Around the obelisk, and you want to be keeping room in, so you want to be like looking to zone them out there. So you want to like be first in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. So you just want to you want to be you are the front line for your team. So you you not like that's like a the way you path there. That's like how a jungler would be pathing for like looking for a sick flank. But you know you're the tankiest guy on the map. Pretty much you want to be looking to tank the damage and just get people out of the way, make room for your carries. 
yeah, you just you pretty much never want to fearless the front line um, unless you have like crazy kill potential with like say your post is a kraken or something. Um, you just want to be looking to get in there and make some pressure on the back line like you did on the thoth. All right, so it's good. It's a good play on the thoth for sure. Right, because this it's just it's just the custom, bro. So you guys are both pretty under level now. I mean, there's uh, I don't know, you guys are probably just farming inefficiently to be honest. Um, so maybe you guys want to be looking to juice up the farm here now to be honest. Is it, if you're behind front line into like say this level 19 thought, like you're gonna get fucked on. This guy's huge. Sick. What do you think about quick casting? Well, I mean, it's it just comes down to like whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, so I mean, if you're if you're playing better and you're used to quick cast, then quick cast is fine. But overall, it's like the worst option between normal and insta. Insta is the best if it's something that you can get used to and you're uh, you're comfortable with that. But it takes time to get used to that. Quick casting is like the worst, but at the end of the day, whatever you're best with and you're most comfortable with is um the best way. This guy just likes ulting you. Yeah, I know. I think he's a fan. The knee. Yeah, I think he wants your autograph. Yeah. Just ults me on cooldown with like nothing yeah. to gain from it. I think he's in love. Just damage number. I think he's in love, bro. As they say, shoot your shot, right? True. Yeah. Okay, so you wanna you wanna look for rotation? Both of you guys wanna look for rotating this mid fight here. There's a big juicer going down. So you wanna be looking for this bird? Or yep. the Loki? You got his dash, he's probably gonna come back up now. You can probably look to turn on him now. Or you can help your boys here. Fucking Loki. Yeah, normally you, you don't want to fearless unless you're like literally point blank. You want to get both ticks of the fearless on them. I saw the whole yield, so I was thinking. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Fuck. Dude, <laughs> you, I, I, mean, I was thinking he was gonna ult the, the whole yield, and I was just like, I just want to keep the whole yield alive because he's doing a lot of damage right now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's perfectly fine to go back there and help your team there as well. Yeah. It's definitely a little bit greedy to, to fuck around that thought. Okay, the bird's dead, so it's it's winnable now. Um, what's their team comp here? You you US got me fucked up. Uh, okay, so you definitely want to get some more Fizz D online. You, don't, you pretty much never yeah. want to have more Magic D than Fizz D. Uh, magic... I am just trying to get, uh, I just want to get Wingblade online just because the amount of slows that uh, I get fucked with is... Yeah, I mean, Wingblade, Wingblade's a really good item on tier for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that kind of just comes out of Blackthorn. I mean, Blackthorn's still fine, but... It's I generally it's just, I do bit. end up selling it uh, at the end for something else, like sometimes, for whatever reason, if I feel like I'll go Runic Hammer, if I'm like, just winning really hard and I just want extra damage. Runic? Hammer? Uh, uh, Runeforge? Yeah, Runeforge. Oh, Fuck okay. My okay. Well, Runeforge it doesn't apply on tier. It doesn't apply on knockups. No. So you, you actually get nothing from it. <laughs> Except for your ult. Your ult, your ult be, be slapping with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe maybe Breastplate Glad Shield is just better than than Blackthorn here. Because right now, like you only have like 119 Fizz Prods. Like you're very squishy when you when you stand stretch like 23 minutes, you want a lot more Fizz Prods than this. And you are never lo really looking to have more magic doom. Than Fizz <laughs> <laughs> Fucking first. <laughs> okay, Athena, you're So you're just looking to be a little fucker and get on this bird and try to burn his beads. Like that, perfect. Now you just, unless you go hard here. Okay, sick dive, he's dead as fuck here. Nice. That's what you're looking to do, pretty much every single fight as a tier. You're just looking to ruin one person's life like that. Okay, I'm watching serious PV. I'm tapping in. 
Okay, so seriously, you're basically a, you're basically a walking monolith titan golem right now. Looking to get frisky. Literally cannot die here, it's impossible. It's literally not possible. I kind of want to fucking body block that ult. So as tempting as that play is, is you probably don't want to be blinking to five people because it's a yeah. it's a forty five and it's also it's a T one tower, so like you can just give up right. and like no one cares. I thought they were split enough that I could get on the back line for free, but yeah, I mean they're always gonna be able to turn on you when you're like that. We were waiting for you, honestly. They were desperate. They wanted you. But yeah, normally as long like if you get someone picked like that, just go farm up. You know what I mean? Go farm up and uh, try to get your sundering axe online because it's a big spike for you. And just looked for uh, a team fight where you're even like that. Pretty much everyone's a soft character right now. Spirit robe into like a witch blade. Spirit robe's a good item. Witch blade this late, not your best choice, no. but it's not horrible. Usually, wait, press tab. Yeah, you need a spectral instead of a witch blade. Oh uh, right. But yeah, here you can just you can just like sell this, and then you can get your sundering axe online as well. Fair. And you probably want to go armor stance now because you're not really going to be killing your the backline most likely. You're not going to be like soloing them. Yeah, now you should be a big juicer every time. So now you just want to be looking to be a poke bot in these fights where you just press your two, uh, so you can get the most prods for your sundering axe proc, and then just hit their tank off cooldown, and just yoink all their health. Just look to be an annoying fucker and just spam poke them. You guys also desperately need vision around this fire. <laughs> so you just want to spam, be be an annoying fucker and just spam ward right, ward fire giant, but not like too hard. You guys are probably gonna lose fire, to be honest, because you just got you just got two picks on you. But you guys can maybe try to jerk them off here. You have three. You can look for a Athena executor maybe as well. But you usually you want to get on their DPS here. And try to stop them. Nice try. So chasing is a little bit greedy, but you're, you're fucking goaded, I guess. Nice. You guys got them on fire, you just want to get out of here, probably. You can look for something X-Poke as well. Don't don't fight this. It's it's a tier one. If they if they get, if they try to get it, just give it. It's really useless. Wait, you need a spectral. I'm here. sad my team couldn't get you. I kept fucking get away from that whole fight the whole time. That's good as long as you're as long as you're fucking with the the pesky oh, yeah. bird. It's the best thing you can do. Spam so hard and no one buys wards. Keep spamming, bro. Or just get the words out yourself, and that's kind of all you can do. So you can kind of just let your jungler clear the way because they're going to take you forever. And you can get a flank ward on the totem, so that they're, if their jungler looks for that flank, then you'll see them. And getting deep wards down if you can, like on their blue, or their backs is also very good. Yo! He's getting birded on. Getting neath halted again. <laughs> oh, tragic. I thought there was Gabe, damage, Gabe, but... Gabe gets those, though. Gabe gets those. Yeah, you got some good words here. So now it should be a pretty free fire. You're just looking to zone here. Your DPS is not going to do What the fuck was that, dude? Yeah, just keep zoning. You wanna you wanna look to zone. Domo. You're just looking to keep out whoever you think is gonna steal the most. Like probably the post here is probably your biggest threat that you wanna keep out. Yeah, this is perfect. You probably wanna try to get out here because you are not gonna be able to kill these guys. Nice. You look for XC on this tier, he can never kill you, you can turn around here. Make sure you press your 2, so you can get the Sunny Ice proc as well. This, ah! if, you, if you get this Merc, you get a bunch of juice off him. Enemy 
No, you're just gonna just look for fire again. Gabe does not seem humbled. Yeah, I think he was capping, bro. I don't see I don't see Gabe being humbled either. He's kind of fucking still. Uh, yeah, I tried to stream every day. So fucking close. I couldn't blink through that. Yeah, the wall's thick as fuck, dude. I still do it. So normally, like, you're, you're pretty much never gonna lose fire there, but what you could do is you could just hold your stun until, like, it's in secure range, because she has no beads, so she can't stop you. So just hold, you could hold your CC for whenever, like, fire is, like, close to 500 there, and you just completely confirm fire. Because when you stun them at, like, 1k, it's not really doing much. Alright, for last item here, what should I be looking for? I hope let me peep. I got bluestone brooch. Uh, I sold a uh, blackthorn here, and I got. Uh, okay, so plate. here you're probably just getting. Um, I mean, you're overcap don't... you're overcapping on CDR, but like no one really cares. You can go spirit yeah. up here, or you can go spectral, considering they probably have crit on their. Wait, no, they have a need. Yeah, they don't have any crit anywhere. Um, we're I mean, not getting crazy value of spirit up here. Spirit, it's just probably spirit over mental. No. But in general, you never look to buy breastplate like this late in the game. Yeah. Be careful, I was just noticing I was trying a little too quick to uh, neath Loki. Yeah. Um, if you also could look for like, if you just want hard fizzy here, okay. instead of like you don't really care about the thought. Um, you can look for like a an emperor's armor or a midguard here. Mm. But in general, it's pretty probably your best out of mirror. I mean, the, the spectral passive isn't shit. It's kind of necessary. It's like the only thing you can do. No, Nemean isn't viable anymore. I mean, the I was thinking maybe even some, strong, uh, but like it's kind of all you buy for. Maybe some form of power B wouldn't be too bad either right now. Mm -mm, no, you never want to. I mean, no. if you're in ranked, you know I mean, like you can definitely do it, right? Yeah. But uh, your job as a frontliner is to never like just straight up kill someone. But you no. you could definitely do it in ranked, and you'd be perfectly fine. You know what I mean? But in general, it's just not really your job as a soliner. But I mean, if it works for you, you can do it. Yeah, sometimes I'll be greedy and I'll actually end up getting Crusher. Yeah, no, it it can definitely work. Well, Crusher late game, it's yeah, it's probably it's the best if you're looking to kill flat or backline for sure. But um, if you're just looking to be a frontliner, it's just Spear, Midgarder, Emperor's oh. here. I'd probably go with uh, an Emperor's or a Spear though. Hmm. Yeah, going breastplate like last item, it's just not very valuable. It's more of an early game item. It's a Christian. Yeah, I mean, personally for me, like, it's just troll, because like, I'm never going to build damage on tier and competitive, right? But yeah. in ranked, shit's a different world, you know what I mean? Like, it can work. Yeah, thanks for the color, appreciate that. One year, sheesh. Welcome back, bro. Appreciate it, man. Dude, I got fucked up by some mosquitoes. Shame. Oh, fuck me. What else would you go late? Well, I mean, here would you, you'd probably have, like, breastfeed earlier, but... That's just Gabe Gap. This guy's just playing... Yep. Dumbass bird. Fuck birds, man. Yeah, also when it comes down to like you're, you're talking about like how you would sell Blackthorn and uh, these other items, 
you basically never want to go into a game and be selling an item because you're just it's just really inefficient gold wise yeah so you just want to like have a predetermined like or like you just need to think ahead about your items and like selling is like basically never an option because you've just wasted so much gold generally like right now i'm just not used to even building a last item because games just don't last that long anymore yeah true Look at this fucking bird guy, dude. Fuck this guy, man. Okay, so you could look for a little bling fruitless on him. Also, on tier, you want to pretty much always be in defense stance until you're looking for a fearless. Because okay. the, fit, the the prots are very good for you. So when you're like sitting in power stance, you're basically just eating damage for free. You're like, now just stance switch. Yeah, perfect. You could have... Uh, if he has dash there, he's gonna live like every single time unless you just early stand switch. I was thinking my fucking fearless was gonna be up a little quicker, so I was gonna just hit him with it, but never mind. Yeah, there. Generally on tier, you just look to standard defense stance. Like, so when you blinked on the thought, just instantly stand switch to to power, and just mm -hmm. get the fearless on him. Because when like, you're when you're doing the blue dash like that, he has a chance to dash away. I know one of my biggest issues is, in general, with Smite is my mechanical uh, skills. Like yeah. I'm, I I have difficulty with it. Sometimes I'll fumble up, fuck fuck something up really hard, and I'm just like fuck. I generally know what I'm doing around the map. I know what has to be done in certain moments, but like it's just mechanical skill. I feel is my biggest letdown so far for myself. I mean. That's just game time, you know what I mean? Like, you haven't played the game for yeah. too long. It is what it is, like, mechanics are built over time. When it comes down to it, you can do a lot outside of just improving your mechanics. Like, mechanics literally just comes down to you playing the game a lot. But, uh, a lot of the- a lot of the plays come down to not even just, like... I mean, obviously mechanics are, like, a little bit early on the most important thing, but... You know, like, just say, like, in general, like, what you should be doing when you go into a fight and how to play these fights correctly. Like, say, just, you always want to be in defense stance, okay, you look for the Thoth, and then you just, uh, switch into power stance and feel some. You guys probably don't want to get too crazy here, because your Merc's splitting right for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. He's over there, he's going, he's going hog wild. Hello. Okay. okay. I'm switching. I'm switching to Sirius POV. Okay, Sirius, press your two before before you use anything. Two before anything, and just look to spam your one max range. Just get the fucking summoning axe poke. Bro, you think Staggy? Pretty sure the gifted sub, bro. Bro! I'm waiting for something. You wait for an item. Yeah. Come on. Your left Phoenix is under attack. So you wanna be uh oh, never mind. You look for the bird, you just got his dash. Nice, you got beads. You can look for ult on him here, he's gonna dash for a little bit. Oh, you guys are losing this fight a little bit. Oh my god! No! Tragic. And I fucked up. Hey, you still made a lot of pressure then. Yep. You almost got him. Hopefully, just clean up. Nope. Nope. Well, they kinda, they kinda mm. do have EFG. Yeah. You almost pogged off though. You pogged off pretty hard. Like in a moment like this, I feel like Corrupted Blink is probably better than Scorching Blink. In general, you basically never upgraded your Blink past T2. Like it's literally like it's yeah. like the most useless money investment in the game. 
Mm. Like, I don't even know why other, like, there's, like, little, like, a lot of, a lot of SPL players do it. That shit is trash. Don't, don't upgrade your blink to tier 3, it's literally useless. Unless you have nothing else to put your money in, like, <laughs> don't buy it. Like, the first time I used Scorching Blink was during the beta, and it yeah, felt it was, great no, then. it was OP it, as fuck. It was broken. Yeah. yeah, it was OP as fuck. The, the fucking Rexy Trelly video where they abuse it, I was the first person to die to that in that video. Yeah, no, those, those items were fucking broken then. Now they're a little useless. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like he didn't humble Gabe. Alright. Okay, so, GG's boys, man. do you have any, any questions? Mm. Overall better than last time, right? Yeah, you put you put yeah, you, you sure. damage this time. Yeah, uh, that was you, really you went, fun. You went crazy oh. this game. Okay, so Reaper, do not no three, no three. Literally, do not put a point into it until the game makes you put yep. a point into it. You yep. want to max your two, then your one, uh, and level your three before your ult. Like max your three before your ult. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your ult damage is useless. You just you just max your three before your ult. And uh, Sirius, press the two button before anything yeah, else. Anything else. That's a problem. Yeah, it's it, it just comes down to habit of playing the god, but your two button is literally the most important thing on Achilles because it gives you a lot more damage, a lot more prods and healing. Um, yeah, the leveling order: do not level your ult. <laughs> <laughs> Stop leveling your ult. Um, and yeah, and you guys could have gotten like a little bit more aggressive, like mid game, if you farmed a little bit more properly. You could have rotated a little bit earlier. And look for more fights in mid, because um, you guys were farming in lane a lot, and that kind of it can kind of be a trap where you just right. You know, I always get chilling. stuck in that trap. Yeah, yeah. You just like chill in your mm -hmm. lane forever, but you want to be looking to farm and rotate whenever you get the chance, so you can make an impact on mid lane. Because if you rotate and you say get a kill on their mid, it could be literally game deciding. Like if you get that kill, because yeah, I, I feel like if I've rotated maybe a little bit more, maybe got some kills on Gabe, like that could win. A big thing for us yeah for sure if you, could, if you could burn some beads and you could look for picks on them it, it could help a lot also you guys could if you're strong and you have like a lead in solo you can just look to back and then just walk over to gold just play like make sure that your team is ready for it you know what i mean like make sure that they're healthy <laughs> they're not poked or anything and just look to call it you know like i'm gonna go for gold soon just back and then just go to gold if you have a lead like just force a fight over there and it's something you could look for as well, that's because you guys are saying that you you have an issue sometimes with pushing your lead. If you have a big juicy lead like that, you could either look for pyro play, mid play, or look for a grouping at gold. As long as your team isn't weak over there, but you don't want to you don't want to call for a group around gold if your team is weak over there because you're just gonna lose. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, you guys have any don't have any more questions, then hope you guys enjoyed it, and I, I appreciate you guys for dripping yeah, in here. Yeah, that, that was great. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you very much. It. Yeah. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my get, get on my Discord. Get the fuck out of here. Uh.